Grumpy Monkey Party Time by Suzanne Lang. Creatively read and adapted by Miss Jill. One perfectly pleasant afternoon, Jim Pansy found an invitation on his branch. You are invited to Porcupine's party. Party? said Jim. Hmm. Hey, it'll be a great time, said Norman from next door. We can dance. Dance? exclaimed Jim, cutting him off. I can't dance. Can't dance. dance. Oh, my goodness, I never knew. <laughs> Everyone can dance, said Hyena. Come on, show us your moves. I don't have any moves, said Jim. Sure you do, said Hyena. You just need to try. So, Jim tried to dance. Uh, you should have taken him at his word, Norman said to Hyena. If Jim doesn't know how to dance, said Oxpecker, we'll just have to teach him. Everyone was excited to teach Jim how to dance. You've just got to feel the beat, said the lizards. Mm, you've got to strut your stuff said the ostrich. You gotta shake your booty, said the baboons. Hey, he's doing it. He's dancing. Everyone cheered. Party time, said Norman. And they headed off to Porcupine's party. At the party, everyone wanted to dance with Jim. Can't dance with us, said the ground squirrels. Care to shake a tail feather? Asked Peacock. Eh, may we come in? Asked the warthogs. Me next, said Rhino. Jim danced and danced. Everyone on the dance floor was having a great time. Everyone except Jim. And then, it got worse. Isn't this the best? Chirped Oxpecker. No! Said Jim. This isn't the best. It's actually the worst. See, see, I don't like dancing. The other animals stared in amazement. How have I heard? Someone who doesn't like to dance, said Oxpecker. Mm, actually, said Water Buffalo, I don't like dancing either. But I never said anything to anyone because I thought I was the only one. I know others enjoy themselves, but I always feel silly on the dance floor. I'd rather do something else squawked Mirabu. Now be honest, chimed in Bat. Dance floors are always too loud for my taste. Yeah, you know, I'm going home, Jim said, and he turned to go. And he bumped smack into Norman. Well, you're not leaving, are you? asked Porcupine. Everyone at this party wants us to dance, said Jim. But, you know, we don't like dancing. No, it's not for everyone, Norman agreed. Oh, but now I'll have too much food, said Porcupine sadly. Oh, Porcupine, I'm, I'm sorry we didn't mean to upset you, Jim paused. Wait a minute, there's food at this party? And indeed, there was a lot of wonderful food. There's bananas and surprise eggs, old meat and honey, seed dumplings, flour cake, pickled roots, grass, maggot, salad, 
fruit bowl, pineapple pudding, fresh meat, bark jerky, fly pie, anything all the animals would want. And plenty of games too. Tag, shake that tree, swing along, puddle splash off, bobbing for mangoes, lots of games. And so they stayed at the party. Jim enjoyed the wonderful food. He laughed with his friends and he even played a game or two. But he did not dance. And it was a great time. The end. If you want to be kept up to date with more books that I uh, upload, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified. Thanks, guys.